In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can install a, a local web server on your uh, Mac machine using uh, something called MAMP, which is Mac, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Uh, we're going to, you can find MAMP at MAMP.info. Don't go to MAMP.com, it's just a domain holder. Um, once you get to MAMP.info, you're going to see there are two uh, two products that they have available, MAMP and MAMP Pro. We're just going to use the free MAMP. We don't need the Pro for our needs. Um, and this is going to go ahead and put the entire AMP stack on our Mac. You'll notice that the name of it has a uh, Pro in it, but it's all the same thing. So I'm just going to download this to my desktop, um, which you know will take a couple of minutes. Um, and then uh, I can actually get through uh, the installation process. So now that it's downloaded, I'll just uh, unzip it. So I'll open that zip file. I can do that from my browser because I'm using Chrome here. But you just want to unzip wherever you downloaded it. Uh, I downloaded mine to my desktop. So I can see the zip file I downloaded and then the package that got unzipped. Uh, and I'll walk through this. Uh, it's a standard sort of installer on a Mac. It has an installer. It's not a drag and drop into your applications folder like most Mac applications are. Uh, so you have to kind of walk through the installer. Uh, classic kind of stuff. Um, back in the day, uh, MAMP used to be just a drag and drop into your um, applications folder, but they've changed that in this latest version. So it was something uh, new for me, but just takes a few minutes. It installs the stuff, puts everything in its place, uh, and then it adds uh, MAMP to your applications folder. Now as we scroll down here, you're going to see that we actually have two folders that got added. There's the plain MAMP, and then there's MAMP Pro. And I don't want MAMP Pro, so I'm going to ignore it. Uh, you can delete it. Uh, but I'm going to just look at the, the plain MAMP, and that is the actual web server. In this folder, in addition to the web server, there's also this application, uh, which helps us sort of control our servers with a GUI. So when you launch it, it'll start the servers automatically for you. And then we have these other buttons here to help us uh, sort of set things up and control it. The first thing I want to do is open the start page uh, and get a little oriented. Um, the start page, this main page, is really great because it actually shows you your MySQL uh, user, which is really <laughs> good information to know right at the beginning. We also have our PHP info. Uh, PHP My Admin is built in, so you can start dealing with your databases right away. Uh, so this is just a, a good handy thing to have around. Uh, and you'll notice that it is located, uh, the main URL we're working from is localhost colon 8888, rather than just the plain localhost. So let's go look at our preferences, and we'll come back to talking about that 8888 in a minute. Um, you can choose which version of PHP you want, 5.2 or 5.3. There's some applications that work on 5.2 and don't work on 3. Uh, you can change that. You can switch it in the middle. I also like to uh, always have a cache. I prefer APC. You can pick the cache that you want. Um, again, we have these are just sort of handy things in terms of when you want the server to start or stop. If you don't want it to start when you launch the application, you can change that here. And in the ports tab is where we find that 8888. And basically, MAMP is setting itself up on a port different than localhost because it doesn't want to conflict with the built-in Mac web server if you're using that. Uh, so it's setting itself up sort of in a different location. Um, but if you are using MAMP as your main web server on your localhost, you can just set it to the default stuff. And then that eliminates having to type in the colon 8888 stuff. So I always do that. We also have the document root, which you can see is in the MAMP folder, uh, in a folder called htdocs. Um, but you don't have to use that if you don't want to. Right? So if I'm in uh, MAMP here, uh, you can see this htdocs folder. And that's where I would put all of my website files. Um, that's where the actual web server is serving from. Uh, but I can change that and go pick something else. This is where I have my sites, is in my sites folder. that. Uh, comes as a, as a default place uh, on a Mac. So if I go in and just browse for it and select it, now when I do it, uh, it's going to restart the servers to um, take my changes into effect. And once that happens, uh, I can use my Mac sites folder as my document root for my web server and just use that rather than having to drill into MAMP 
uh, to use it all the time. It's your preference. You can do it how you like. What you may or may not want to do is have MAMP start when you start your computer. So I'm just going into my Mac uh, preferences and uh, under my account in the login items, I can add MAMP, the MAMP application, uh, to fire up uh, when, you know, I log into my computer or start it up in the morning. Uh, so I can go in here and I actually select the application and then add that to the list. And if I have the, when the application launches that it starts my actual servers, then whenever I boot up my computer, it would just start my MAMP server. Okay, so now we have it installed. We've done our settings. We've got things kind of set up the way we want. And now let's actually use it. So I'm going to open up uh, my text editor here and I'm just going to create a very uh, simple <laughs> Uh, file just to show you that the web server is actually working uh, and, and where those files go. So uh, just put in some plain text here. I'm not even going to bother with HTML tags or anything. And uh, what I need to do is save that as uh, like index.html, right? Like the, the main page on my server. So I'll do this as index.html. And I'm going to save that into my web root, which is my sites folder because I changed it to that. Otherwise, you'd have to do it in MAMP htdocs. Uh, so let me go to MAMP here and start up my MAMP server. Make sure that's running. So the servers are running and I'll quit out of that. Uh, now let's just go to localhost and it works. So because I changed the, I removed that 8888 by changing the port settings. So this is my simple text file and when I go to localhost it's there and that's great. So I can start building a website there. Um, Another nicer way, especially when doing local, is you tend to have more than one thing you want to do. So if I just make a folder for my site, and instead of taking over the entire web server by making an index uh, file, uh, I can just put folders in here, and then each of these can be their own uh, website that I'm running, so I can be developing and working on multiple websites at the same time. Uh, and I just go here and have an index of all the sites that I can play with. So that's MAMP in a nutshell. Uh, it's got the entire AMP stack along with PHP, my admin, and lots of good tools for just quickly getting up and running uh, to do some local development. So, see you next time. Two, three,